Fort Polk has a rich history of Army readiness. On Saturday's public tour of the Joint Readiness Training Center, people saw firsthand what it's like to be a U.S. soldier. Shantisa Archie says it gave her and her children a greater appreciation for the military. They got to find out how the inside of the vehicles work and they actually got to sit in there and take pictures, hold the guns and you don't really know what they go through until you actually get to see things up close and see how heavy the equipment is and how hot they have to be with all the uniform on and everything like that. Various equipment was on display for photo ops and everyday civilians even had the chance to shoot a 50 caliber machine gun. <laughs> Also on display, Tigerland, a 1960s compound that mimicked a Vietnam village complete with huts, swamps, and booby traps. Soldiers like Texas native Larry McCabe trained there before deploying. It helped considerably because you knew what to look for. The tunnels, you just happened to stumble upon them because you couldn't see them. They had them so well. In fact, some of them would have to go into water and into a tunnel and then up somewhere else. And so you really had to watch where you was at what you was doing. McCabe hasn't seen Tigerland in 49 years. Although the training was realistic, he says nothing compared to boots on the ground in Vietnam. Just a completely different world you got dropped into. You have to survive. That, that's your major priority is to survive and make sure your buddy on each side survives too. Ed Ferris, president of the National United States Armed Forces Museum, is in the business of making sure the rest of the country doesn't forget about its military history. Ferris has been involved in the museum since 1999. He says taking veterans down memory lane is what he loves about his job. Artifacts or equipment that they actually use when they were in military service or seeing pictures uh, where they served that isn't there anymore. That actually brings back a lot of happy memories. This is not the conflict, it's the men and women that they served with and they go back and basically reminisce. On Fort Polk, Lydia Magallanes for News Channel 5, your local station.